I evidently didn't winterproof my dishwasher well enough and it, something froze and so the first time we went to use it this spring it leaked all over the place so I've taken it out of the kitchen so we can kind of try to find out what it is that cracked or froze or whatever I suspect I mean it could be as simple as there's a hose underneath there there's these things so I'm just gonna, you know, it's not attached to the water line anymore, but I'm gonna fill it up with water with a bucket and then turn it on and see if it drains out and see if I can find where it's frozen or leaking. All right, so I'm actually coming to you from the future and from behind the dishwasher because uh, I can tell you that I fixed this leaky dishwasher really easy for free and you can do it too. But it kind of dawned on me, maybe not everyone um, puts their dishwashers in and takes them out all by themselves all the time. So there isn't much to it. the back, it. you're going to have three connections. You're going to have a drain, which is this really flexible pipe. And this usually will go up to either a garbage disposal or to the trap, above the trap, under the sink. I'll show you that in a second. There's going to be an electrical line. I have... I always put a plug on mine, but usually they wire them into a box. So if you're going to pull the dishwasher out, you're going to have to turn the power off and just open that box up and disconnect the wires. That's pretty simple. And then third, there's a water feed line. Um, you're going to need to make sure you get the valve turned off and then use a wrench, probably a 17 millimeter and you can just take this this part off right here that'll allow you to slide the whole dishwasher out because you got to flip it over on its side to get to the hoses that are leaking at the bottom all right so here's the drain sometimes these drains requires that they have a loop that takes them up above the level of the faucet ours doesn't have that requirement but Anyways, either way, it will tie into the drain trap here. And then this is just the plug for mine. Again, yours probably is hardwired someplace. That's probably more standard. But just undo those. You got to get those undone so you can get the washing machine out and put them back on again when you're done. I think usually a dishwasher is also secured uh, by screwing it their their brackets if you open the door you'll find little brat and look up underneath here you'll find little triangular pieces of metal and screws in it screws into the bottom part of your um, counter um, that holds the dishwasher in keep it from tipping over um, you're going to need to take those off granite it's a different system but look up there it should be pretty obvious all right, now that you know how to get it out, let me show you how to fix it. Oh, I didn't even have to turn it on. I can see that this pipe in here that goes from the pump to whatever this plastic thing is out here is split and leaking. So that, I think, is good news. That should be pretty simple to just replace that. So I got it flipped on its side. And it looks like I can pull this panel off here. That There's just one screw so let's yeah. pop that off and i think that'll give us access to that hose oh there's another screw let me get that all right so this hose oh it's not it's not me i freaking mouse ate it oh all right so that was a mouse damage so it's just this little pipe, which has got two easy spring clamps on it. And then we can replace that. Huh, interesting. Okay, so if you just squeeze these with pliers, you should be able to get this hose off. Okay, and here's a closer look of the damage. Okay, well, so this it has got Looks like sort of a special shape or whatever. I'm not really going to worry about that. Let's just find any hose. Well, I am. maybe I should worry about it a little bit because if we bend that hose into place, it's going to crimp it. Maybe I have to order this stupid hose. Let me look online. Yeah, I can't. 
can't this is the one hose in here that's special and you can see if I put a straight hose on it and I try to bend it it's just gonna crimp it off like that so I'm gonna have to find one that's got this kind of end to it and it's it's really firm I don't know how they molded it into this shape but uh, oh, you know the other thing why don't I just I'm just gonna replace this section right here we get a little I'll just splice that together that ought to work so I had this mirror six feet away from where I was standing my little plumbing kit and we're just gonna cut off the bad part and we'll splice this in between here so let's see yeah. Yeah. should be long enough I'm gonna cut it off pretty close to the chew end here ha my favorite kind of repair using only stuff that I found lying around free repair let's throw this on the washing on the dishwasher uh, let me put this on we'll give it a test all right got it in that dry spot fill it up with water again now for the moment of truth let's take a look under there and see if it's still dry yeah. there we go okay that fixed it hopefully that'll help you out it should be if your thing is leaking it's probably one of those hoses underneath and they're super easy to fix